Marvel Hero Clix Earth X unboxing coming right up. Mr. Clix Flix is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Home of the RC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for our gaming needs. You can visit them at luckydicecafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Alright guys, it's that exciting time of the year again where we are unboxing a case of the newest Heroclix set. In this case, Marvel Heroclix Earth X. Uh, so, uh, for the couple people that are uh, members of Patreon, thank you because uh, without you, uh, probably would have been switching to a brick instead of a case a while ago. Um, and uh, for Patreon people, uh, during the month where a uh, new set drops, the first Chase or Prime figure that I pull uh, is the giveaway item for that month. Uh, so if you want to be uh, a part of that, be a part of the Mr. Clicks fl family, make sure to check out patreon.com slash Mr. Clicks uh, Tons of other cool stuff there like the uh, unofficial uh, team abilities card uh, and so just a ton of other cool uh, Patreon exclusive content. Uh, only costs as little as a dollar uh, and it really helps the channel a ton. Cannot uh, express that enough. Uh, so we got our case from Lucky Dice Cafe, uh, who sponsors the channel. Got here in two days, as always, uh, packaged well. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to uh, get the cellophane off these and crack into this. So before we get too far into this, I, there was something I forgot to mention. Uh, we are participating in a event with Happy Little Hero Clicks channel. Uh, his link will be in the uh, pinned comment below. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is him and I are both going to unbox a brick of Earth X and we are going to construct a Hero Clicks team from the contents of that case. A little bit different than, uh, you know, just two booster seal. Thought it might be uh, interesting for people. Uh, so there will be a uh, video for that following up. So make sure to keep a look out for that. And also just to let you know, uh, as always, I always start front left booster then go uh, back, far left, second from the left, back, the whole way across for people that uh, like to map these things out. And uh, All right, so here know, we are not. with our first booster of Earth X. Uh, let's just get a little look at it here. Uh, some cool, I believe that's Alex Roth's uh, artwork there, so really cool there. Uh, just go around the booster. We got Inhumans. We got Earth X. We got Venom Chases. These are really cool. Um, if we have our druthers, we want uh, this Venom Cap Chase, although the Ultra Chase would be cool because I've never pulled one. Uh, this Venom Iron Man is also not bad. Uh, then we've got uh, Arachnids of Earth X and Spider Family. So it looks like we got the Miles Morales um, Prime figure there. Uh, so uh, it just smells so good like when these new boosters come out. Hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, huffing, huffing boosters. Do you guys notice like hero clicks seem to have like a distinct smell to them? So um, anyway, uh, that is it. And let's go ahead and see what's in booster number one. All right. So here we are with the uh, front far left booster. Um, we uh, got a few things here. And uh, before we see what the, uh, the meat and potatoes of this is, uh, the figures that I'm really most hoping for as far as super rares go would be... Uh, Green Goblin, the Captain America title, and then uh, probably that Venom uh, super rare. Uh, those would be cool. There's a ton of other ones that I'd be happy to see. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, see what we got here. We got Police Sergeant Tinkerer, which is really cool. We haven't seen him. I don't know if this is the first time we've seen him, but it's at least been a while. Uh, the Hydra Falcon. Uh, Fancy Dan just did a video uh, that had him in it and Namor Rare so really cool there uh, really like the sculpt for that one too that's cool so awesome pulls there next booster far left back row still waiting for Chaser Prime we got Karnak okay so an Inhuman Rhino Jackal Man Wolf and Sandman. So really cool. Uh, I missed out on the Sandman uh, that we got a while ago in uh, what was that? Superior Foes of Spider Man. So cool for me to get another one. This one's actually 
pretty good too. So no equipment characters yet. Uh, two rares. So we'll uh, see. Hopefully this will be picking up soon. So uh, second from the left. Uh, front booster. Let's see what we got here. And we got Montana. Volturion. Hydra. President Osborn. And Ox. This is the Earth X version. Uh, so pretty cool there. It looks like a Minotaur. That's neat. Uh, so three for three on rares. I don't think we've had an unboxing with this slow of a start. Normally, I feel like the chase is has the last several ones been like the uh, the first booster. So uh, this is uh, getting a little bit stressful. So, so let's see uh, how we do here. This is uh, second from the left back row. There we go. We're doing better now. All right, so we got Spider -Man, Spider's Man, Karnak, Spider-Man, uh, like the bigger one. Uh, then we got Electro. Uh, she's actually really good. And Loki Super Rare. This guy's cool. Um, not the most playable figure in the set. Let's get him out of there. Uh, not the most playable figure in the set, but that's just a sick sculpt. Uh, that that I really wanted. So uh, let's go ahead and get this guy up for a closer Loki look at what he does. is number 58 in the set. He has the Asgardian, Earthex, Deity, and Mystical keywords. And he has two traits. His first trait is called Bending the Rules and Shaping Reality. Free, roll a d6. The resulting effects last until your next turn. One, opposing characters modify defense, plus one. Two, all characters can use phasing teleport. Three, each player chooses a character, and the chosen character modifies all combat values plus one. Four, generate four blocking terrain markers, each within range and line of fire. At the beginning of your next turn, remove them. Five, friendly characters modify attack plus one. Six, friendly characters modify all combat values plus one. So that's good there. Uh, only one in six uh, just helps your opponent. The rest could possibly help you. Uh, his other trait is... In the minds of mortals, shape change stealth. Once per turn, when a character of less points within range and line of fire makes an attack, you may re-roll one die of that attack. Now, it's important to note that that's not a, uh, a prob or something like that. So, uh, just really cool with that. Uh, he has two different point lines, 150 and 125 points. Has the mystical team ability. Packs an 8 range dual target. At 150 points, starts off with a 10 movement with phasing teleport, 11 attack psychic blast, 18 defense invincible, and 4 damage with probability control. Uh, the reason why I mentioned that that does not count as prob is because he can use his probability control plus the in the minds of mortals uh, in the same turn, which is really helpful. At 125, he has a 9 movement with sidestep. 11 attack, incapacitate, 18 defense, invulnerability, and 3 damage without wit. Overall, uh, this is an okay figure, but an amazing sculpt, and I really look forward to playing this guy. Alright guys, so next booster, dead center, front row. Uh, we got one super rare so far. Hopefully we get two more, a chase or a prime. Uh, let's get it. Let's see what we do. Alright, we got Tinkerer. Police Sergeant. These Police Sergeants actually aren't terrible. They're not the best Police Generic uh, that's out there, but they're pretty good. Uh, then we got uh, Triton, uh, Sandman, and Ox, uh, the Uncommon version. So, pretty cool there. Got, got at least one we didn't have and a Generic, so cool. Alright, here we are. Dead center, back row. Hoping for some good stuff. Come on, no whammies. Alright, we got Spider's Man, Fancy Dan, Vulture, The Hydra, and Police Sergeant. Uh, so Fancy Dan was our rare in that one. Actually pretty good though. Um, already had one, but pretty good. Alright, we're getting down to the last four boosters. Uh, these should be pretty good because hopefully we get uh, a sup uh, two super rares and a chaser prime. So... Should do pretty good. Uh, this is second from the right front row. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Lizard, Red Union Jack, uh, the Hydra Shannon Carter, Spider-Man with his web shooter object, and 
Ezekiel Sims. So pretty good there. I've heard that these characters with the equipment are actually pretty uh, difficult to get, so reasonably happy with that. So not a bad booster. All right, getting in the home stretch of brick number one, we've got uh, second from the right front uh, back row. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, we got the skull. Hydra. Uh, I'm sorry, Madam Hydra. Morbius. Blue Union Jack. And Prime Venom. So this is this month's Patreon shout-out item. This is the first Chaser Prime figure pulled out of the case. So pretty cool there. She's actually not too bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get her up so that we can get a better look at what she does. Venom is number 001B in the set. She has the Earth X Spider-Man Family Monster and Police keywords. She has improved movement, ignores elevated and hindering terrain, has a trait, one special on her attack, and one on her defense. Her trait is called Alien Symbiote, Plasticity Shape Change, Venom Breaks Away Automatically. That's just cool. Uh, definitely helpful. Uh, then the special on her attack is called In Total Control of the Symbiote. Incapacitate. When Venom uses it after resolution, give an action token to each other opposing character within two squares in line of fire of hit target. Uh, so pretty cool there. Uh, incapacitate's always good, and then just giving the extra action tokens is uh, just icing on the cake. Really hurts your opponent's action economy. Then the special on her defense is called uh, Murdoch's training lets me find you. Super senses. Venom and adjacent friendly characters can use improved targeting, ignores hindering. So pretty good there. Uh, she is 70 points, has a 5 range single target, 9 movement with charge, 11 attack with that special, 18 defense with uh, super senses and indomitability, 3 damage. Uh, overall, I really like this figure a lot. Uh, definitely hurts your opponent's... Um, action economy which is something i'm always a fan of uh, so whoever gets this as the giveaway item for patreon hopefully you enjoy this as much as you should because this is a really outstanding figure all right guys last two boosters from brick number one uh hoping for some good stuff here this is far right front row hoping for two super rares uh, out of these last two boosters let's see how it goes we got montana Ox, Black Panther, Silver Sable, and one that sadly I already had, but everybody seems to want Daredevil Super Rare. Just look at how cool that sculpt looks. Even if he wasn't any good, which he is, uh, I'd want him for the sculpt. But that's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a refresher on what this particular figure does. Daredevil is number 54 in the set. He has the EarthX Celebrity and Mystical keywords, has improved movement, ignores elevated and hindering terrain, and he has two traits. First trait is called Can You Kill the Daredevil? When placing this character during game setup, choose a starting line for Daredevil and give him three six tokens. When Daredevil is attacked, after resolutions, remove a six token for each six in the attack roll. If Daredevil has six token when he would be KO'd, instead choose a starting line different from the one you most recently chose and turn him to that click protected pulse wave. Uh, so really cool there. Um, it's important to note that he's not officially KO'd, so if you equip him with something, he would maintain that uh, even on the next click number. His other trait is called, I hear that teaming up with you may be fatal. I'm game. Daredevil can be chosen for mastermind. Attacks made by Daredevil, Daredevil or by characters targeting him can't be re-rolled if the attack contains a 6 protected pulse wave. Uh, that's just fair. You know, would, uh, otherwise, every time your opponent got a 6, you'd save your probs for that. Uh, he's 60 points, has a few different starting lines. Important thing to note, really, is just that they're all the values are the same. It just changes uh, what the powers are. So the starting value for all of them is an 8 movement, 11 attack, 17 defense, and 3 damage. They all have willpower on that first click, and they all have uh, perplex on the second click on the damage slot. Uh, one 
set of clicks has hypersonic speed, another has charge quake, another has plasticity poison, and a the last one has sidestep blades claws fangs. And they all have, uh, like I said, willpower on the first click. Uh, overall, this guy is just a great harasser. Uh, in the vein of Haha -Ha Joker, uh, I think it might be a little bit better, uh, just a little bit more survivable because uh, sixes are actually pretty tough to roll. Um, and if you put them with somebody like Mr. Mitzelplick or something where you can replace uh, D6 rolls, uh, that's technically not re-rolling, so you might be able to get them to survive just a little bit longer. All right, guys, final booster of brick number one. Uh, hoping for a super rare. Haven't pulled any of the ones we wanted yet. No chases, one prime. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right, we got uh, Lizard, Luke Cage, Morbius, uh, Gorgon. Okay, so not one of the ones we were hoping for, but an inhuman, so I'm excited about it and Rhino. So really cool there, that Gorgon's a cool sculpt. So let's go ahead and get a better look at what this guy does. Gorgon is number 59 in the set. He has the Earth-X, Inhumans, and Animal Keywords. He has Improved Movement, Ignores Hindering Terrain, and Ignores Blocking Destroys. He has two traits, a special on his movement and a special on his attack. His first trait is called Terragenesis Twice. When a friendly character targets Gorgon with Perplex, after resolutions, roll a d6. If the result is less than Gorgon's click number, modify that chosen value an additional plus one. So just helpful there. Uh, then his other trait is called Butting Heads. Modify defense plus one when attacked by a character using charge or hypersonic speed. Uh, so if anybody's planning on attacking him up close uh, with hypersonic for close or ranged really, or charge, uh, he's going to get a plus two defense to have a really nice and healthy defense there. Uh, so that's just a decent little trait. His uh, special on his movement is called Bullheaded Charge when Gorgon uses it. You may choose to not have his speed value. If you do, he can only move in a direct path. So you get a full movement charge as long as you move in a direct path. His uh, improved movement destroys blocking and ignores hindering makes that a little bit easier. Uh, his other special is called Trampling Gore, and this is on his uh, attack uh, symbol. Quake. When Gorgon uses it and hits one or more character, choose a hit character and roll a d6. Increase the damage dealt to that character by half the result. So really cool there. Uh, Quake has a uh, normally a 2 damage, so if you roll a 6, then that would do um, uh, 5 in total. Or if you single targeted Quake, uh, depending on which starting line you started on, it could deal massive amounts of damage. Uh, so he has two different starting lines, as I was just alluding to, uh, 125 and 70 points. Uh, at 125, he starts with an 11 movement with that special, 11 attack with the special, 18 defense with invincible and indomitability, and 4 damage. At 75 points, he starts off with a 10 movement with that special, 10 attack with the special, 17 defense with invulnerability, and 3 damage. So at 125, with that special quake, he could move a full 11 squares quake. Uh, if it was single target, he would deal 7 damage if he hit and rolled a 6. And at 75 points, he'd be able to move 10 squares. And if he hit a single target, he'd be able to deal 6 clicks. Uh, just a close combat behemoth. Um, I really like him. Looking forward to playing with him because I just love Inhumans anyway. So even if he was terrible, I'd play him. But uh, this guy's really solid. All right, so that concludes brick number one. Uh, that is what we will be uh, pulling our team from to play Happy Little Hero Clicks with. All right, so here we are, first booster of brick number two, front far left. Uh, didn't get any of our major ones yet, so I feel a little nervous about that. Did get some decent trade fodder, though, so uh, we'll be able to at least get one thing we wanted. So here we are with booster number one, and we've got Spider-Girl. Electro, Black Panther, The Hydra, and Medusa. Really cool. I actually really like this sculpt. This is the second one I got. Um, but it's actually a really good figure. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, refresh what this specific figure does because it is really good. Medusa is number 60 in the set. She has the Earth X, Inhumans, and Ruler keyword. She has two traits and a special on her movement. 
Her first trait is called Tear Genesis twice. When a friendly character targets Medusa with Perplex, after resolutions, roll a d6. If the result is less than Medusa's click number, modify the additional value, uh, modify the chosen value an additional plus one. Uh, so again, just a handy little trait. Her other trait is called Lethal Locks, Plasticity, Giant Reach 3, Telekinesis is three as free, but replace all six with three in the text of the power. So uh, Plasticity, Giant Reach 3, and a free three square TK is phenomenal. All those are great. Uh, then she has a special arm movement called Lockjaw's Tuning Fork, free, improved movement, ignores characters, elevated, hindering, and blocking terrain. Passenger 2 but only to carry characters that share a keyword regardless of flight ability move up to three squares. So really cool there. Uh, I believe that move up to three squares means that it's locked. So that's good. Uh, she has 75 points, has a three range triple target, a 10 movement with that special, 11 attack with Quake, 18 defense, super senses, three damage with leadership. Uh, she's just a really solid, sneaky little... Um, support piece uh, that gives really deceptively good mobility to Inhumans uh, teams and uh, in Sealed for Earth X. All right, guys, so now time for booster number two. One super rare out of one booster. Should get two more and a chase or a prime figure. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. We got the skull. This guy's sick. We got Tinkerer, Namor, Voltorion, and the Hydra Falcon. Uh, so pretty cool there. Got another Namor. I still think, even though this is the second one, this is just a cool sculpt. So uh, that'll be easily tradable. All right. Booster number three. Second from the left, front row. We got the Lizard. Red Union Jack. Uh, these guys are actually pretty good. Uh, Dr. Octopus Rare, the Hydra Shannon Carter, and a Luke Cage. Booster number four, second from the left, back row. We got... Okay, cool, we got a neat rare. Uh, this is uh, Stegon. This was one that uh, a lot of people were saying were really missing from the last set, uh, Secret Wars Battle World. Uh, so... A lot of people are excited about that. He spawns tokens. Uh, then we got Fancy Dan, Black Knight, The Hydra, and Silver Sable. Silver Sable is actually pretty good. So, pretty good there. I've got Black Knight. We're hoping for Black Bolt. Uh, still got plenty of boosters to try, though. So, here we are. Dead center front row. Let's see how we do. All right, we got Ezekiel Sims. Beetle, Crime Master. Uh, this is Beetle's object that you get with him, which <laughs> looks really weird, but uh, it's actually not too bad. Uh, so there it is there. It looks kind of like a tick. Uh, then we got the Hydra and a Police Sergeant. All right, so we're still waiting on uh, our big ticket items from this brick. Uh, we got one super rare, still waiting on two more and a chaser of Prime. Uh, so here we are dead center back row we got Voltorion the skull spider-man x51 and silver sable uh, this sculpt actually looks pretty cool in person like the see-through bits I didn't think I was gonna be a fan of it so let's go ahead and uh, take a better look at this guy see what he specifically does x51 is number 57 in the set uh, I really wish he would have been number 51 just for fun. But uh, number 57 has the Earth X, Cosmic, Herald, and Robot keywords. Has one trait, special on his defense, and a special on his damage. His trait is to stop the Celestial Embryo. When an opposing character with Colossal Size or Power Cosmic makes attack, you may roll a d6. 2 through 6, modify its attack minus 1. 6, modify its attack minus 2. Um... That's just great. Uh, so automatic minus one for a lot of meta figures right now is great. Uh, well, basically automatic minus one if you roll a one. But the chances that aren't very good and then possibly a minus two uh, are even better. Uh, the special on his defense is called 
I will not erase my emotional programming. Stop toughness. Uh, stop clicks are just always good. And then the special on his damage is called Secrets of the Elder Race. Power Cosmic Team Ability. Range Value 8. Perplex Outwit Probability Control. So he is 75 points. Starts off with a 12 movement with Phasing Teleport. 11 attack. 18 defense with Invulnerability. And 2 damage with Support. Uh, on his stop click, he has a 6 movement with Stealth, 12 attack with Psychic Blast, 18 defense with the special, and 3 damage with the special. For 75 points, this guy is pretty good. Uh, cosmic is a really good keyword. Robot's not bad. Uh, and Earth X and Sealed will be really good. Uh, for 75 points, this guy's a cool little... Um, little support piece that flexes into a major attacker uh, I hope late game and I just really like this sculpt um, they, they really undersold it in some of the the preview pictures at how cool the um, the little robot skeleton looked on the inside so I'm actually pretty happy I pulled this guy all right uh, coming into the home stretch here we have second from the right front row still looking for one more super rare and a chase And we got King Britain. This guy's actually pretty good. Uh, Sandman. Red Union Jack. The Rose. And Prime Vulture. So really cool there. Uh, so this is uh, for me. Uh, this guy's actually really good though. For 50 points. Uh, he's, uh, I don't know that he's going to be meta, but he's really close. Um... So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what he does. Vulture is number 19B in the set. He has improved movement, ignores characters, uh, Magia and Brute keywords, has one trait and a special on his movement. His trait is called Time to Make My Getaway. When Vulture KOs a character, after resolution he can use Charge at no cost. That is super strong in a competitive game where... Um, Basically, people are using a bunch of one-click figures. Uh, you can charge around some little Hawkeye. This is basically second coming of Avengers Defenders War Hawkeye, except for close combat. Uh, then he has a special on his movement called Let's See What This Suit Can Do. Charge Sidestep. When Vulture uses Sidestep, you may roll a d6. 4 through 6, he can use Sidestep a second time. Uh, so that's really powerful there. Basically, you have a chance at 4 free movement. Uh, he's 50 points, which is outstanding. Has a 9 movement with that special... And the flight ability, 11 attack with super strength, 18 defense with toughness, and 3 damage. So, if you make your sidestep roll, you're able to uh, move 9 squares in total for your initial charge, hit with a heavy object for uh, 5 damage, then charge again for another 5 damage, then charge again for another 5 damage, until you quit hitting. Uh, this guy's just, for 50 points, this guy's silly. Um, he is phenomenal, super happy to have him. Um, I don't know that he's like super game breaking meta, but he is really close. Uh, his keywords are really what's hurt holding him back, but I think uh, he has an outside shot at it, and I'm definitely going to try myself to uh, use him on a competitive team. All right, guys, so here we are uh, finishing up. We're on booster number seven. No, eight. We're on booster number eight, if I can count. Uh, we got two super rares and one prime so far out of this brick. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're getting a chase or not. I'm going to be kind of salty if there's no chase in here. And uh, we should be getting one more uh, super rare. So hopefully we're able to at least check one off that we wanted. Um, but we'll see. All right. As the booster boxes fall. All right. We got Spider-Man. Spider's Man. Blue Union Jack. I don't think we've got I think this might be the first one of those. Uh, Mr. Negative and jackal so pretty cool there uh got a blue union jack that i don't think we've gotten before so that's neat all right last two boosters far right front row hoping for no whammies we got montana karnak black panther spider-man and venom so we did knock one off that we were hoping for the Venom Super Rare. So pretty cool there. Uh, it's a new symbiote one uh, because the one from Spider-Man is going to retire soon. Uh, next retirement probably. So really cool there. You can kind of see 
Uh, so let's go ahead and get him and his object because that paint is actually really good. Uh, so we're going to get these guys on uh, the platform so we can get a good look at him, talk about what he does. Venom is number 51 in the set. He has the Maximum Carnage, Sinister Syndicate, Monster, and Reporter keywords. He has improved movement, ignores hindering and elevated terrain, and he has three traits. The first is called Signature Equipment, Venom Symbiote. Venom may start the game with the um, Earth X S006 Venom Symbiote equipped. So what's the Venom Symbiote do? It gives him uh, plasticity, shape change. This character automatically breaks away. If you play him uh, separate, the, the Venom Symbiote that is, it's four points and a light object. So overall, just a good object in and of itself, but with Venom, even better. His other trait is called Call in Help from the Venomverse. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when Venom hits an opposing character after resolutions, you may roll a d6. Three through six. Place another friendly character named whose name includes Venom adjacent to Venom. Really cool there. It harkens back to the uh, Superior Foes of Spider-Man set where they all had the call in from the Spider-Verse trait. Uh, so just cool. And his other trait is called Sinister Six United. Stealth but only if your force has three or more characters. Improve movement ignores hindering, but only if your force has five or more characters. Modify all combat values plus one, but only if your force has exactly six characters. DC had a set of figures that had a very similar trait, uh, and it was pretty cool, so it's neat to see that Sinister Syndicate gets that. Uh, he has the Sinister, Sinister Syndicate team ability, has two different point values, 75 and 50 points, Starts off at the 75 point click line with a 4 range single target, 9 movement with charge, 10 attack, blades, claws, fangs, 17 defense with super senses, 3 damage with exploit weakness. For 50 points, uh, you're not really trading off much there. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the same. 9 movement with charge, 10 attack, blades, claws, fangs, 17 defense with super senses, and 3 damage with exploit weakness. Uh, this guy's just really good when you consider that he has, you know, the super senses, plus the the shape change, and plasticity, and he's just a good tie-up figure. Ends up getting uh, some uh, steel energy late dial. This guy's just really cool, and I really like the sculpt. Uh, th they did a really good job with the paint on this one, so I'm super excited to have him. All right, last booster. Far right back row. No chases have been pulled. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Um, so uh, this is it. You guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite figure was that's been pulled so far. I uh, really enjoy reading those. Uh, let me know what you pulled in your bricks or boosters or cases. Uh, always interesting to read that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. All right, so here we go. It's been a fun ride. What do we got? What do we got? We got... Spider Girl, Clea, actually really happy about that. Um, we got uh, King Britain. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> we got Captain Venom, so we did get a chase. And we got Rhino. Oh, that is sick. Uh, we're going to have to get him on the platform right now and take a look at him, guys. Because Captain is America just Venom awesome. is number 62 in the set. He has the Avengers, Monster, and Soldier keywords. He has improved movement, ignores elevated and hindering terrain, has three traits and a special on his damage. His first trait is called Alien Symbiote. Plasticity, shape change. Captain Venom automatically breaks away. All the Venoms seem to have that, that's fine. He has another trait called Call and Help from the Venomverse. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when Captain Venom hits an opposing character, after resolutions you may roll a d6, three, three through six, place another friendly character whose name includes Venom adjacent to Captain Venom. That's just really good there. Again, harkens back to that call in from the, or uh, help from the Spider-Verse uh, trait from the Superior Foes Spider-Man, and that was just fun. Uh, then his other trait is, Eddie, you're just the man we need. During game setup, when establishing theme teams, you may treat the monster keyword as a named keyword. That is phenomenal. Monster keyword's really strong. Um, one of the few things possibly holding it back in some people's mind was the fact that it was a generic keyword. <laughs> Captain Venom gets rid of that. He's like, nope, it's named. So you get your theme probs now. Uh, that's phenomenal. Then his other 
Uh, then his special is called Ready to Serve My Species Leadership. When another friendly character with the monster keyword attacks, modify its attack plus one if Captain Venom attacked this turn. So phenomenal hands out leadership. So you get plus one actions. You get uh, plus one attack if Captain Venom attacked, plus your monster keywords are now themed. Uh, he has two different starting lines, 75 points and 50 points. Uh, at 75 points, he starts off with a four range single target nine movement with charge 11 attack with quake 18 defense with combat reflexes and indomitability three damage with that special then at 50 points uh don't really lose that much uh he gets a nine movement with charge 11 attack with quake 17 defense combat reflexes three damage with that special uh overall this guy's phenomenal if for if for 75 points he had zeros across his dial and just made monster a theme team. He'd almost be worth it. Uh, the fact that he brings those other things to the table is just icing on the cake. And this sculpt is awesome. I didn't realize like that the shield like wasn't really attached. It was just kind of like being held on by like the little venom goop and just the venom tongue hanging out. This is a fabulous sculpt here. Uh, definitely one of the better ones I've seen out of this set. All right. So here we are. It looks like we got nine uh, figures that were better than a rare. Uh, we got a chase, two primes, and six super rares. Uh, so pretty good. We were able to check off at least one that we really wanted in this Venom. Uh, the other one should be easily acquirable enough uh, with what we pulled. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, please remember this on Critical Miss if you don't have probability control.